guys, oh, this is the first day of week two of Pinati X. And um, let me tell you, it's already like 1.30 in the morning right now. And it's super flipping beyond late. But I really didn't want to push the workout. And so I went ahead and, and got it in. Um, I actually feel really, really awake. And I was actually kind of tired um, before I started. But obviously working out kind of tends to wake you up. And so, um, but I, I, I just pretty much just let this day just sprint away from me. Like literally... I just got so preoccupied with everything else going on today that I totally pushed my workout. Um, I did my meal prep, which um, that video was already posted. You guys would have already seen that. If not, I'll leave the link in the low bar for you, those of you who haven't seen it yet. Um, and so that took up a lot of my time. Um, of course, you know, couponing <laughs> takes up some time as well, too. And so, but again, I, don't, I didn't want to neglect the workout. Um, and do everything else except that so that's why I went ahead and still worked out um this was chest and back and um since I did my workout up here in my room since it's late and it's cold outside and I have to watch little guy um I went ahead and um did the um workout with the pull-up bar and um my goal was basically to do four pull-ups assisted and I was able to accomplish that which was awesome Maybe next time I'll um, either stick with the four or um, increase it um, to five. So we're, we're going to just see how I feel. Um, as far as the, what else? I didn't do the weighted exercises, being the heavy pans, lawnmowers, and the back flies because I don't have weights up here. And so um, I'm going to push those three exercises, um, two sets of each, um, till tomorrow. So I'm going to do that with plyometrics tomorrow. Um... What else? The decline push-ups. Um, because my strength is really weak right now, um, I have a really, really hard time doing them on a standard chair. I have these little short stools up here um, in my room that I'm going to probably put one downstairs. And it's, it is about a good six to eight inches off the floor, so it does lift my knees to feel like I'm getting a workout. Um, at least until my strength builds up and I can do it from a standard chair, which is obviously my goal. So that's that. What else? Um, again, I'm eating my prep meals. Um, so today I had breakfast with the potatoes with eggs. Um, I also have coffee with that and a banana. And then my first snack was um, was grapes and cottage cheese. Um, my lunch was a chicken salad, which was really, really good. Um, and then I had a smoothie for a snack, which was kale, spinach, um, my baggie that has grapes, pineapples, and strawberries in it. Also added a banana, um, and that was that was good. It was I used my um, Nutribullet cup. It's the large cup, so it was a lot, but I got it in. Um, and then for dinner, I had um, my barbecue chicken dinner, which has barbecue chicken, brown rice, Brussels sprouts, carrots, um, and I didn't finish it all, which I didn't actually think I would finish it all because I really didn't feel that hungry. Um, but my snapware containers are actually relatively big, so I'm either going to choose not to fill the entire freaking container with food or just go ahead and just get smaller containers. So I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to do, but I do like um, my, my snapware. And then what else can I say about today? Other than that, you guys, today was pretty uneventful. I'm doing the Aperper X. I'm only doing 10 reps of each exercise still. And I'm going to just try to increase it by at least one or two reps until I get stronger um, to the point where I can do the full 25 reps. Other than that, what else can I add about today? Um, that was basically it, you guys. I'm going to leave it there and see you guys tomorrow after. After plyometrics. Later guys. Brian Little Fuck.
Um, today is day three, week two of P90X, and it should have been Plyometric, but for some reason I cannot find my Plyometric DVD anywhere. Um, I have the original one, but it doesn't play in my laptop for some reason. And so, um, my edited version I can't find, and so, um, and I'm doing my workout up here because little man is back there asleep. And so, I went ahead and did Kimball X instead, and I'm hoping by the time I have... Kimball X day that I already have my applied metrics and I can do applied metrics on that day. So basically this week just swap in the workouts. And then if I can't find applied metrics by then, then I'll just swap in um, maybe an insanity workout or something like that. But um, but today was awesome. I feel like I haven't done the original Kimball X workout in a while and I actually miss it. So I'm thinking I might just do it from this from the from this day forward because it was actually really really fun. And I guess I miss more of the exercises than I thought by deleting them from my edited versions or whatever and so um so that's that what else I sweat my ass off as you guys can see it's hot up here and that's the thing I do actually like more about working out in the garage is that it's cooler and I um I don't sweat as much because it's cooler and so um other than that um what else this is my 10th day you guys of a gallon a day which is awesome a gallon a day for the last 10 days which is amazing um and so that's going awesome like there are nights where I don't think I'm going to get my water in, and I do, which is awesome. Um, other than that, um, I feel I feel amazing, you guys. Um, I was surprised Little Man slept the entire time. I was basically watching Empire at the same time I was working out. Um, and so, yeah, um, which made my workout go faster. Um, other than that, you guys, I will leave it there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow after... I don't know what tomorrow is, so... But I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, I hope it's not too dark in here. I just finished my shoulders and arms workout and my little guy did amazing. Pop the bear. Hey you. Hey handsome. You gonna smile for the camera, boo boo. Say hi. Say hi handsome. What you gonna say? He's been trying to coo, he's been trying. Hey, Booba, what you gonna say? You gonna say something to mommy in the camera? Say hey, guys. Say hey, YouTubers. You don't gonna say nothing, baby? He's been doing so good, though. I had an awesome workout, you guys. Let me just tell you, my goal for today was to push my 15s as much as I possibly can. I think there's 15 exercises for this routine, and you basically run through all, all of them twice. And my goal today was to do the 15s as much as I could. Last week I was doing the 10s, and that's my lightest weight. So my goal was to push the 15s as much as I could because um, last week I all I did was 10s, and that was because 10s are my lightest weight, and I wanted to um, 10s is my lightest weight, and I wanted to just kind of see, um, just kind of gain a, 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 some type of baseline as far as where my strength is at. And so, um, this week, my goal was to challenge myself with the 15s. Again, there's 15 exercises, and so I pretty much, only ones, I would say tw um, 12 of them, I was able to succeed with lifting the 15s. Um, and even with some of them, or most of them actually, keep my reps the same, which is awesome. Um, a lot of times when I'm trying to um, increase my weights, I usually will tend to drop my reps. A little bit so if, if once I reach I would say a good 14 reps 14 to 16 reps with one weight that's how I kind of can determine if I need to up my weight and drop those reps so um, let's say I do 10 pounds at of 16 reps that tells me that I could potentially go up to about 15 and drop those reps by down to about 10 and so um, my reps for most of these, pretty much all of them stayed the same. Um, there's a couple of them that went down, but that was the fact that I did so many reps with the tens. I kind of knew that I was going to be able to up my weights and drop the reps this week, and so I'm, I'm happy that I was able to do that. So the only exercise that I wasn't able to up to 15s was the back flies because my, my back is not very strong, um, and what else? The light lying down triceps, and that was because I don't want to drop the damn weight on my freaking face. And um, the shoulder uh, 
front and side shoulder raises, and that's just because my deltoids are not that strong right now. So those are the only three I was I was I had to stay at ten. Other than that, I did really really good. Ah. Um, what to do? Excuse you, baby. <laughs> Other than that, I did really really good. I did my workout here in the house while he slept. I just pretty much just just got. I I went and grabbed my tens and my fifteens, and I had my tens on standby because I wasn't sure how I would do. But again, I did awesome. And so, um, and I basically was just watching videos. Um, I basically was watching a lot of other YouTubers at the same time. So I was watching um, the Daily Davidsons, one of, one of my favorite, favorite vloggers. Um, who else? Latoya Forever is another favorite person. Um, who else? Um, and so, yeah, but that, that's basically what I was doing. And really, if you have P90X, all you have to do is work up to the workout sheets. You print up your sheets off of, uh, I want to say, Beachbody.com, obviously. And then you can just go exercise exercise and work out with the sheets. You don't have to work out to the DVD, especially for the resistance training type works or the weight, exercise, uh, or the weight routines. You can just, just grab your workout sheet and do the exercises like that. So um, other than that, you guys, um, what else today? Today we did three miles, a three-mile walk earlier. Felt really, really good. We haven't been out walking because it's been so cold lately. And it was 56, almost 60 today, so it was a nice temperature. Um, we'll probably go to the mall in the morning, though, um, about 7 a.m., um, 7 to 8, probably closer to 7, though, and walk the, um, and walk the, the mall um, just to be indoors. So, um, so, yeah, so I will leave it there. Again, this was shoulders and arms, awesome workout, and so I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Later, guys. Okay, somebody wanted to um, know how I make my smoothies. Um... And basically, I, I I put like a ton of vegetables in mine. Um, I put more vegetables probably than fruit. When I first started, I put more fruit than veggies. So I put a nice big chunk handful. This bag usually will last me a week if I do one every day. And then I have, this is just a head of kale that I've already washed and cut up. And I put... A little bit of kale not too much kale because kale can be a bit overpowering um, but there's my kale fruit which I already pre-made these from my meal prep which is have strawberries pineapples and grapes in it so I pretty much dumped that in there and it's a good idea if you're if you're um, doing smoothies to pre-make yours you could actually just freeze these I just put in a banana I'm trying to do this and hold this little guy at the same time but there goes my banana. I add orange juice. I don't add a lot of orange juice, but I do add orange juice rather than water nowadays. Um, and so that's just about... Actually, I'm going to add just a tad bit more. Okay, so that's what I do with orange juice. Because I cannot forget to add blueberries. And then I add just not a lot of blueberries, just, you know... Maybe like 10 or so. Put our top back on. And we top it. Well, Boopa, almost done. Just showing the people how to make, how we, how we make our smoothies. And then it goes on. And so then that's that. And that's what it looks like, you guys. Um, for those who wanted to know. Okay, guys, so I just finished doing yoga. Um, I actually did it to my own DVD. Um, just to get it in a little faster. Um. And so, a couple of you guys was asking me how I do that. And basically, I just recorded myself doing the workouts. So, this is when I did yoga. When I worked at um, my, pre well, my previous job. And I just was in one of our, our uh, what we called our gym. And I just went in there with my camera and my DVD and recorded myself doing the workout. And at the end of this uh, video, I actually have Aperper X. And it's crazy because it's, it's quite, uh, it's actually a bit of a throwback because Little Man was in the video. And back when I was doing P90X, when I first started P90X, and he was two. That was right after my separation, my divorce, rather. And so this is me doing Aperper X. Little guy is getting fussy over there. And so he comes in, and he wants to do it with Mommy. He gets in the way. There he is. He was such a cute little kid. He really was. He's a cute kid now, but he was a cute little boy, little baby. So yeah, he was too. This toy just takes me back. Because he was always like in the way, trying to work out with me. Um, let me see, there's a part of this video where he's actually working out with me. There he goes. He's trying to work out with mommy. 
Okay, Papa, I'm coming. Hold on. Yeah, so this is where he was where he was trying to work out with me. Yeah, so you okay now? Okay, we had an awesome workout. Again, I just did it to my DVD, which is only an hour, so the workout was an hour and then um and yeah, right booba booba? So yeah, so I'll leave it there. This was yoga. So this was day I wanna say I have two more workouts left. I have well I haven't found plyometrics yet and I'll probably most likely do um, the uh, plyometrics for um, Insanity, and then I have leg and back. So we're almost done. I'll leave it there. You guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm in the middle of doing um, leg and back, and I wanted to just show you really quick how I do the pull-ups assisted, meaning um, I'm actually not using a chair. I'm just putting my... Um, the tip of my tip of my toes on the edge of the toilet to kind of just to give me you know a little lift up but I'm doing my best to not rely on that leg because it's really easy to cheat and do um, assisted pull-ups and allow that leg um, to completely take to completely take the um, the pull of the of the pull up, basically, or take the weight of the pull up, so that way you think you're doing something, but all the weight is in your quadricep. I'm gonna show you really quick how I do it. This is the I'm doing a wide a wide front pull up. So yeah, so so I put my my tip of my toes. And I'm, this is like the last pull up of this. So I'm so sore, my legs, my quads are super super sore. So just me putting just a little bit of weight that's on this leg is killing me so i'm gonna do it really really fast though so i come all the way down and i pull myself up so as you can see it's hard because i'm only allowing this leg to assist so, that's it. I'm gonna do a clip after my workout. I'll see you guys then. I just finished up a fire. Awesome ass workout. Um, I absolutely love it. It's fun, and um, you sweat your butt off. It's a short workout. It's the hits 15. I did twice, which is killer because the clip before this one I did uh, leg and back, and so my quadriceps are super super sore. I mean, going up and down the stairs is like killer for me right now. Doing um doing turbo fire all the and it's a lot of plyo jumps and stuff and, and sumo squats and so the workout was very very challenging but i got an awesome workout okay and so this is the end of week two of p90x um and i feel amazing you guys like literally i um got all of my workouts in and i'm not gonna lie you guys it was a challenge because um it was i just so wanted to just be lazy and just do nothing um, some of those days but I got the workout in and I will tell you guys if you want to see results you got to invest the time um, and it's simple exercise and diet and so I got all my workouts in as far as my meal prep um, I got all my meals in all my snacks in um, this is all I have left of my gallon of a day and this is the 14th day of a gallon a day which is awesome um, what else can I add um, 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 um. I feel like I can't think right now. I did have something different for dinner last night. So what I did for today is I had my dinner from last night for lunch today. And then I'm going to have my last dinner for tonight um, after I finish this. I'm going to prep salads for fewer days because I just waste, I waste the last two. Now the fourth salad I had was pretty, a little suspect. Um, it was a little juicy, but I, you know, it was okay. Now the four, the fifth and the sixth salads were just overly juicy. I ended up tossing them. And so, um gonna make fewer salads I'll probably prep four salads from this uh, day forward or this week forward um, just so they last because there's no point in prepping meals that are gonna end up being wasted and so um, that's what I'm gonna change as far as my next meal prep um, I plan to meal prep tomorrow um, I'm not sure if I'll do a video on that or not 
But I can because I know that those prep videos are really helpful to a lot of you guys because uh, they're helpful to me as well. And so what else can I add? I feel like I'm talking super, super fast, but literally I just feel like I have the biggest rush right now. Like working out just gives me the freaking biggest freaking adrenaline rush ever. Now, as far as corset training, I, this week, I only wore it, I want to say five days this week. I slept in it three of those nights. I felt perfectly fine. Now, keep in mind, the corset is not very tight. I'm only seasoning it. Now, someone asked me in a previous video, what does that mean? Seasoning just means you're breaking in the corset. And basically, for the first two weeks, you want to wear it no longer than two hours. And so, but after the two weeks, you can kind of slowly, in, um, slowly tighten it. So that's what I plan to do. Um next week now as far as seasoning them i did not season the 345 i did season the i did season the um 411 corset and so what i plan to do is next week start seasoning the 345 corset um in between wearing the 411 that's my goal um i plan on starting to cinch in it as well probably in half inch increments um, like i usually do and I'll probably bump it from two hours a day, or will, with the exception of me sleeping in it, I'll probably bump it up to about um, maybe four to six hours, and then slowly um, increase it. So that's my goal as far as course of training is concerned. I will leave it there for this week. This is week two. It is down. And I'll see you guys all after week three. Later, guys.